confirmed the patient's had a seizure. Oh. You've got the nasal cannula set up at four liters okay. of O2. And then I want you to drop two milligrams of lorazepam for an IV push. And when you're done, I want you to call for I want you to call for a neuro consult, okay? Get an IV of Capragol and run it over 20 minutes. This man is like a cockroach. You just can't kill him. He just keeps coming at you. I said the same thing. <sighs> Liza. I bet you this is what she's gloating about, huh? I have no doubt that Liza's the one that helped David pull this off. And now he's back, ready to use his new power to dismantle everything I've done. I should have taken that man out when I had the chance. Jesse, what am I, what am I gonna do? How do I stay in this position knowing that I have to deal with him? Let's just take this one small victory at a time. At least, thanks to you, David will never, ever be able to practice medicine legally again. Not ever. It's not possible. Well, it is, but... We're here to work, so let's work. You don't have to, um... I'm fine. No, you're not fine, Greenlee. You're not. You're sick as a dog, okay? You need to let me go take this meeting, and, no. and you stay here. And no, 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 no. I need to work. I need to work, because if I don't, I'll start thinking, and I can't think, because if I do, if, if I am... <sighs> if... I am pregnant. I already know I can't carry to term. I lost our baby and I can't go through that again. <clears throat> Hello, David. Oh, hey. I wasn't sure you'd answer. I called your room and... and that you weren't there. I was uh, probably checking in. Um, the flight was delayed. We got in later than expected. Oh. Hmm. Is everything all right? You seem a bit, I don't know, strange? Just tired. Look, I need to prep for this meeting. I'll call you later, OK? You sure you're okay to leave? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just okay. gonna need a ride home. I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I told you. If JR followed through with what he said he was going to do, then Marissa knows about the two of you. I can handle Marissa. Yeah, I don't think that she can handle you. And she shouldn't have to. The kindest thing to do right now is to stay away. Well, you know, I am so sick of hearing that. My entire life, I have I've been pushed aside or ignored. It's so unfair. You don't know what that feels like. You had a father who didn't even know the definition of the word cruel. You have no idea what it's like to always feel like you're this, you're this burden or you're unwanted. My father was an incredible man. I was very lucky, I know. Well, I wasn't. And I deserve that. I deserve to feel wanted. I know that I've done some really, really horrible things, okay? But it doesn't mean that I don't deserve to be loved. I do. And I will not give up until everybody sees that. I was crying because I have to go away. I just need to figure out a few things. Can I come with you? Oh, sweetheart. And this is something I need to do on my own. But you're coming back, right? I'm not sure, but I will still see you and we'll spend lots of time together. I don't want you to go. Hey, buddy. I'll still be here. Look, I want you to know that no matter what happens, I love you and I always will. We both will. You love each other too, right? I'll see you soon. I promise, okay?